I want to talk about frequency. Not necessarily a comfortable conversation for the church. I believe that is mainly because tradition and religion doesn't allow us or you to study the fullness of who God is in his supernatural state that is. So words like frequency and vibration bring a little discomfort to many of the traditional aspects of church, but I would completely be doing you and myself a disservice not to authentically stand in the truth of my evolution and what I'm learning and experiencing. Foundationally, all of it has transpired from reading of scripture, my time with God, and my relationship with God. It has brought me to a space of understanding more about who I am and who God is. As a certified life coach and a business coach, many of the aspects of the work that I do is studying people, behavioral patterns, processes of the mind, things of that nature. And so my believer friends seeing me in this space may sometimes get uncomfortable, but they don't find any discomfort in their physicians who may be a believer who also study science and things of that nature or their therapists who study science and things of that nature and so because I am a lifelong learner and I really enjoy the deepness of things that I embrace not just surface level stuff I find that science is a huge part of the work that I do and science is attempting to prove the, the things of God, the vastness of who he is. And so words like frequency and energy and vibration, they come up in the work that I do. And so as I speak about frequency, this is for those of you who may have ended a relationship or a business attempt that did not work or is not working or you are transitioning to a new role in your life or your business and maybe there is some stop and go, some toggling, you see it sometimes and then sometimes you don't. This is for you. So one of the things that happens with frequency is you have a dominant energy that you are resting in. If you have a desire that is greater than the energy and frequency you are resting in, there will often be that toggling back and forth, that uncertainty. There may be times where you get large influxes of money and then it goes away. There's no consistency in it. There may be highs and lows, extreme highs and lows in a relationship or on again, off again. All of that is energy. And I came to this understanding because I am intentionally, personally, taking myself through an identity shift for a new desire that I have. And I'm learning so much in this particular identity shifting transition that I'm having. And I've had several before when I wanted to do new things or have new things in my life, but I was never as intentional or even as aware as I am now because of the space of evolution that I'm in. But as I'm in this particular space, I lost something that I was enjoying that was really great for me. And then it wasn't. And despite how great it was for me, my dominant energy and desire was at a greater level or just a different level. And so what happens in those times when you are not in alignment with, who, with what you desire, like who you're being, your energy, your frequency, how you are vibrating is not in alignment with what you desire, 
a few things happen. So you may have the toggling to and fro with your money or in a particular relationship, the ups and downs, but your dominant energy will always be the energy that rises to the top and calls in whatever it is. Now, what this could look like is you have a desire for something greater, but your energy is a match for what you already have or what you have in the past. And then there are times where your dominant energy stands above all other energy that you have and the things that you have can no longer remain. And this is where embodying a new frequency, and I talk about this all the time, that matches what you truly desire comes into place. But many people are confused, upset, frustrated, it's not working, or, but I really want this old thing. But if your dominant energy is in alignment with something greater, it will often cause things to happen in your life that will release some of those things that may have seemed fun, although they were a little off, although they weren't really a perfect match for your true desire, it may very well cause those things to fall off. And you being in that space of awareness is a beautiful part of you manifesting what it is that you desire at a quicker rate. Now, where the uncertainty comes in is how to embody the frequency that is a match for what it is that you desire. And this is what I take my clients through in our identity shifting sessions. I lay down for a few hours and I woke up with this download and I said, I have to get this out. And so I thought about making a post, um, sending it to my email list, which I may very well do, but it would have been typed out. And see, in the space of your new identity, because you're open, right, because you've released some things, things that you've never seen before that make things happen with much more grace and ease suddenly become available to you. And so if you notice, this is through audio. The way that I'm sending you this message is through audio on a program that I've been using for a long time and had no idea that there was an audio capability to this particular app. And so I'm sharing that because so often when you're resonating on a lower frequency in your old identity, there will be opportunities, there will be things that you just simply can't see because the old version of you doesn't know to look for it, it isn't open to looking for it. Um, so many things happen when you step into a new identity that make Whatever it is that you desire, come with much more grace and ease. Whatever it is you're desiring to manifest. And specifically, this particular download came to me because of something that I had to release. I'm not sure if I said this part already, but something that I really liked. But it was out of alignment with my dominant energy. And when you get this understanding, you can release things with much greater ease. And you won't stay in that phase of regret and doubt and fear and uncertainty nearly as long as you used to. It's important that you understand that we serve a supernatural God, like a God that we can't even see, that we believe in. So you have to understand that there are parts of God that tradition is just not going to break down for us. But for those of you who are vibing at this frequency, I pray that this has blessed you. For those of you who want to go deeper and 
you're ready to embody that new identity that is a match for what you truly desire. My sessions are open. That's my take. Peace and abundance.